Alrighty, so this mailbag is so big, I think I might have to strip it into two different pieces. First up, we got ourselves some new ultrasonic distance sensors. Uh, I actually had no spares for this. This is the HCSR04, and these work really good. They're a good budget sensor for ultrasonic distance measuring with your Arduino projects. It's pretty standard. Lots of people are using them. Nothing crazy there. Lots of libraries available, but basically just some simple math and you can basically bit bang it and send out the transmit and receive on the receive. So pretty cool. Next up, we got ourselves, oh yeah, this is the replacement. So this is actually from uh, Rotor Riot. This is a replacement for my failed Betaflight F4 flight controller. So we got the DYS F4 uh, Pro flight controller, and we're gonna give this a try in an upcoming video. This is gonna replace the flight controller that failed on the Red October quadcopter that you've seen on this channel. So I'm pretty excited about that. Next up. We got ourselves a whole bunch of connectors. Uh, I've added all this stuff to the store uh, down below, the makeme.org store down below, guys. And when applicable, I'll post some Amazon uh, affiliate links down below too. But this stuff is mainly from eBay. And uh, I can't post links to it because they expire. So what I'll do is I'll add it to my store. These are... Um, the same style as balance lead connectors on lipos uh, some people are calling these jst connectors blah 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 but uh, i forget the industry standard name but they come with header pins and connectors this is going to be really handy for wiring up uh, the robot build if you just need some small signal connections and need to go to a pcb hey here we go perfect next up this is for the quadcopters for the FPV cameras that come with a not so great lens, this is a GoPro Hero 2 direct replacement lens from eBay China. These are not expensive. These are bottom of the barrel cheap and they work fantastic to give really good, good optics to a kind of shaky camera and a really wild, wide uh, angle of view. So good just budget lenses swap them out and your cheap camera now becomes kind of a rock star battery cases these should be for 18650 cells 3.7 volt uh pretty standard four battery tray nothing too crazy we'll be able to power up all kinds of neat stuff with this it is a replacement Arduino Mega, and sure enough it is, with cable. The Arduino Mega the only, is a, a microcontroller. If you're not familiar with it, go back on my channel. I've done several videos on them, but uh, uh, at Mega Processor on there, at Mel Processor, Arduino compatible, works fantastic. Tons of I.O., good for large projects and do a lot of cool stuff. And the only thing, the only drawback is I don't much care for this printer style large S, uh, USB connection that they use on them. I wish they would switch over and stop using that, but heck, small price to pay, beautiful board. Uh, on the mailbags you've seen, I had some header terminals and some breakout boards for this. Really, really cool. More battery trays for the 18650 cells. These are singles. So we can power up small projects with these. Uh, again, really, really cheap, not too crazy. Uh, kind of chintzy wiring not not the best but uh, good enough for what we're going to use them for for small projects that we just need a, a single cell power supply for and we'll use a voltage regulator with that and we're good for the 3.3 volt micro is probably the ESP 8266s you'll see a lot more of those in this channel ah <laughs> fans lots of fans these are for a specific purpose uh, well, I did get spares. These are actually for my reef tank aquariums. Uh, the old ones are getting a little noisy, just cheap, nothing crazy. But also I got the spares so that I can use them in various electronics projects. What do we get in here? I have no idea what this is. It looks interesting though.
Ah, perfect. This is the lead screw. It's actually marketed for a 3D printer, but we're going to use it for something else. This is a Z-axis lead screw system for a standard, uh, I think it's for a rep wrap, uh, with pillow block bearings and coupler and the adapter to go uh, as well. I think we're going to use this for the steering mechanism for the uh, Mars Rover robot, the big child's toy, the ride-on child's toy conversion. I needed something beefy to be able to turn those front wheels. So we're gonna give this a go. Straight off of Amazon, nothing crazy. This is just a power brick DC adapter. I needed it for some lighting in the studio for some LED lighting. This is just a one point, well, it says it's rated for 5 amps, 12 volts, uh, good enough for the small LED strips that I'm going to be running it off of. We will not draw very much on that, so good enough. Next up, we got, oh this, this is a neat one. This is a request by you guys out there. I got those 18650 cells and some people requested that I do some analysis on them. Well, this is an analyzer for the 18650 cells and we should be able to test them out and see uh, how their capacity measures up and, and just see whether they are what they say they are. I got I got some really cheap 18650s a while back on a mailbag and some people called out right away that the capacity is not, it's not possible for them to be what they say they are and I totally agree with you guys. So uh, what the heck, let's test them out and just see how far off they are. And I also got some MOSFETs. These are well, two different packages, and it's been so long since I ordered them. These are... I'll just put it down below, I think. I'll just add them to the store. These are an IRF Z44N. Uh, pretty sure they're power MOSFET, but uh, geez, it's been so long, I can't even remember, guys. We'll, uh, I'll add them to the store, and I'll keep you posted. We'll use them in a project. This is a cool little kit. I saw this on David Watts' channel. This is a nifty little uh, Tesla coil setup for acting as an audio output. I'm pretty sure I saw it on a couple other channels too, but David's video really piqued my interest. It seemed like a really neat little project. For just a few dollars, this thing does not cost much money, and I just couldn't resist, because who doesn't want their own Tesla coil that can make music? That's kind of neat. even comes with the mail-to-mail -mail adapter and everything for just a few bucks right out of eBay China. Ah, we're give let's build it up on a future video. That'd be a fun little project for us. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. <laughs> Nothing to that. Simple wall wart adapter. Uh, you can tell this is a really cheap one, 12 volt, two amp, but it comes with the barrel jack, standard barrel jack uh, connector, and the, the screw type terminals. I have no idea why I purchased this, but I'm sure I had a reason. I, have, I keep notes in my little project book to tell myself why I ordered them, because the lead time is so long on this stuff sometimes from China. And when I'm not in a rush, I'd rather just pay the few bucks and get this stuff slow boated. It doesn't bother me a bit. Guys, I'm going to split the video right here. Throw a thumbs up down below if you like this video, if you like this content, if you like this channel, if you like what I'm doing. Truly appreciate you guys out there. Hit me up on Patreon down below or even, even better, right away. Go to that Discord link down below in the description and you can join me in live chat every day of the week. I'm in there associating with you guys, talking with you guys, building projects together every day I can be. I will catch you guys next video. Have a great day.